Hey everyone, Dr. Rafi Wald here. In honor of Dysautonomia Awareness Month, I wanted to talk to you all a little bit today about this very important subject. It is a subject that the medical community is paying a lot more attention to in recent years. We have spoken recently about multiple system atrophy. While multiple system atrophy is a movement disorder and is related to Parkinson's disease, it also is a dysautonomic disorder that is a disorder of the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is responsible for all of those functions that we do not actively and voluntarily control in our body. So for example, right now, your body may or may not be digesting food. That really is not up to you. It's something that your body decides to do on its own. Uh, it goes under that category of autonomic nervous system function. So dysautonomia refers to all of those disorders that happen when the person's parts of their body that handle things automatically start to not work properly. So people with dysautonomia might experience fatigue, they might experience dizziness, they may have difficulty regulating their internal thermometer. Uh, there's a whole range of other difficulties that can go along with dysautonomia and it can be a very difficult uh, issue to fight through. It is something that uh, I'm really happy to bring more awareness to. Uh, I hope this information helps everybody, and I am, as always, looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.